Now do this to picture. In the past, musician and sound engineer Willie Henschel has had to fly to Los Angeles to record one sound effect. Funny way for a grown man to make a living, eh? Dropping telephones into buckets. <laughs> Now, Willie doesn't have to get on a plane for a drop in a bucket. Instead, he logs on to Rocket Network, a company he and three other musicians founded six years ago. We were just interested in improving the efficiency of the recording studio process. It's good for music, it's good for sound effects, it's good for anything that records sound. Using Rocket's private network, he can send the dropping phone sound anywhere in the world. That's Willie's phone sound effect being received at Rocket's offices across town in San Francisco. Most professional audio production so, studios are in L.A., New York, or London. Flying in out-of-town musicians and sound engineers can be expensive, and studio time even more expensive. Today, the primary option is either to email the file, which is terribly cumbersome from file format standpoint, or to FedEx. Exactly, too, is what I'm looking at. Rocket makes it possible for everyone involved with the project to work together without ever meeting face to face. All of the pieces of sound, from music to sound effects, arrive over Rocket's network and are edited into a finished piece using audio editing software track. that supports the Rocket platform. Rocket sells to some of the biggest names in audio production, and with 50,000 registered users, the company estimates that its technology is being used by 95% of the market. Night and day. The Rocket's technology has been used on several projects, including Bridget Jones' Diary, a David Bowie CD, and Geico's Gecko Spots. I'm a gecko, not Geico. Which, by the way, also feature Willie's falling phone. <laughs> Although Rocket was founded in 1995, it didn't really take off until it moved its headquarters from London to the Bay Area, where it was easier to get venture funding. The company is backed by Paul Allen and just received $9 million from Cisco.